Hello there kids and welcome to another day of learning with science. For today, we will discuss about the changes in solid materials. But before that, let us try to recall first what is solid. Anything in mind kids? Any definition? Okay, recall it first. Alright, time is up, and I think you got it all correct. A solid has definite shape and volume. You can hold solids. So, maari daw nating mahawakan ang mga solids. You can find solids in your houses, in your garden, and even in schools. In other words, solids are everywhere. Kahit saan matatagpuan natin ang mga halimbawa ng solids at araw-araw silang bahagi ng ating pamumuhay. Now, take a look at our slide. I have here samples of solids which I think is familiar sa inyong lahat. We have here a pencil, ball, and even the foods that we love to eat such as breads, fruits, and vegetables are examples of solids. Also, it says here that solids differ in characteristics. Meron silang pagkakaiba-iba depende sa material or sa solid object. They can differ in size, maaring magkaiba yung kanilang laki or sukat, the shape, yung kanilang hugis, the color or yung kulay, and of course, even their texture varies. For all we know, we have different type of texture. We have soft, hard, smooth, and rough. But the question is, why solids becomes different from each other? Bakit ba kinakailangang magkakaiba pa or magkaiba-iba pa ang mga solids from one another? So, here's the spill. Solids becomes different from each other because we change them or binabago natin sila from the original material going into another material. So that, mas magiging useful sila or magkakaroon sila ng iba pang gamit or kapakinabangan sa atin. But then, what are the ways of changing solid materials? Or how can we change a solid material? First, solid materials can be bent or pwede silang balikuin. Bent is also when you force or shape a solid material into curve or angle. Try to observe the given examples as you see on our screen. When bent, these materials may change their size and shape but no new material is formed. Only the physical appearance of the material has changed. For example, yung plastic ruler natin kanina. When bent, kapag binaliko natin ito using our hands, naiiba lang yung kanyang shape. Nagka-curve lang siya. But once we release it, kapag binitawan na natin ito, it will bring back into its original shape or it will straighten again but no new material is formed it's still the same plastic ruler and as you can see we usually bend objects using our bare hands so kadalasan yung ating mga kamay ang ginagamit natin when we want to bend a certain object all right next solid materials can be pressed Press is applying pressure to flatten and shape an object. Some of the examples are modeling clay, which I think each one of you are very much familiar. We also have the dough or yung mixture ng flour and baking powder na ginagamit sa paggawa ng tinapay. And when we do baking, pastries, cookies. And we also have plastic bottle and bread as an example of solid materials that can be pressed. 
And of course, if you still remember, it was just last week when you had an activity in EPP, which is about pamamalansya, right? So, pamamalansya or ironing of clothes is also another way of pressing solid materials. When pressed, these materials may change their size and shape. Other solid materials may also change their texture when pressed. However, no new material is formed because only the physical appearance of the material is changed. So, kahit i-press natin siya, wala tayong panibagong material or walang panibagong solid material na mabubuo. It's still the same solid material. For example, dun sa pamamalansya natin, mababago lang yung texture ng cloth or ng kasuotan, ng damit. From being rough, magiging smooth to because we press it using plancha or the iron. But all in all, it's still the same cloth. Walang pagbabago. Iba lang yung kanyang physical appearance or its texture. Also, solid materials can be hammered or maari itong martilyuhin. Of course, by means of using hammer or martilyo. Well, have you seen a martilyo or hammer? Do you have this in your houses? Usually, we have martilio in our houses because we need it from time to time whenever we want to fix something that is broken within our houses. So, for those of you na hindi pa nakakakita ng martilio or hammer, look and observe our pictures below. So, on that picture, you can see objects which can be hammered. And most of the objects na hinahammered or minamartilyo natin, they are hard objects or sila yung mga matitigas na bagay or object. On that picture also, you can see samples of how do a hammer or a martilyo look like. When hammered, these materials may change their size and shape and even texture. However, no new material is formed. Because only the physical appearance of the material is changed. So, wala pa rin na bago or walang naproduce na panibagong material. Same material na iba lang yung kanyang itsura or yung kanyang physical appearance. And lastly, solid materials can be cut. Maaring putulin, maaring gupitin, maaring pirasuhin or hiwa-hiwain daw ang mga solids. So, in here, for us to be able to cut a solid material, we have to use sharp objects. So, para daw makapag-cut tayo ng isang solid material, kinakailangan ay gumamit tayo ng mga sharp objects or yung mga matutulis na bagay. So, here we have scissor as an example. So, we use scissors to cut papers, cardboards, plastic wrappers, cloth, and of course, even our hair. Kapag mahaba na ito, we do haircut. Nagpapagupit tayo ng buhok, and of course, ang ginagamit natin dito ay scissor. So, when cut, these materials may change their size and even texture, but no new material is formed. Hence, only the physical appearance of the solid material is changed when cut. So, just the same doon sa mga nauna nating discussions. Walang panibago or walang new material na mafuform or makikreate. It's still the same material. It's still the same solid object. Maiiba lang yung kanyang physical appearance. And pag sinabi nating physical appearance, it can talk about the size, the shape, the color, or the texture. Alright, so as you can see, I have here some more samples of sharp objects for cutting. Well, I am just showing it to you for you to be familiar with these things. But then, because you are still young, you are not allowed to lay hands on these sharp objects. Again, uulitin ko, because you're still young, it is a no-no for you to use or to touch these sharp objects. So, as you can see, we have here a knife or yung kutsilyo, 
which we use for cutting vegetables, fruits, meat. And also, we have here saw or lagare and axe or palakol which is basically used for wood cutting or sa pagpuputol naman ng malalaking piraso ng kahoy. Well, I hope you learned something from today's lesson. Until next week, keep safe and be safe.